Hello, I'm Ben from Reviews and React, and I remember so you don't have to today. We'll be watching Cloverfield by Nostalgia Critic. Yep, I know yesterday we did the Cloverfield trailer reaction, but today we will be doing Cloverfield itself as a movie. So, yeah, let's watch Cloverfield. Let's see what it's about. Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it, so you hey, don't critic. have to. And perhaps you remember the review of the Cloverfield trailer that I did last summer. I mean, what could it be? Is it Donkey Kong? My money's on Donkey Kong. Maybe it's Jesus. Maybe it's a giant robotic Donkey Kong <laughs> Jesus riding a puff of smoke. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, January 18th has finally hit, and I feel it only necessary to talk about the film that I ironically helped promote. So, what is it that's terrifying all of New York in the middle of the night? Well, I'll tell you what it is. A monster. Just a monster. Not Donkey Kong or The Second Coming, it's just a monster. It's not even a famous monster like Godzilla or Rodan or anything. It's just a monster. No twists. No backstory, no surprises, just a monster. Bullshit! All that build-up, all this time, yeah. all that effort just for a fucking monster? Suck my dick! If I wanted to see monsters, I'd go to the DMV to get my license <laughs> renewed. But hell, you don't care about what it is. All you want to know is, is it a good movie? Well, let me tell you something. This film was okay. What? Just okay. short really short like the shortiest of short short shorts that was really not that long 
And I was expecting it to be like 11 minutes. But how can you turn a monster movie into 11 minutes of content? Yeah, I don't know what to say here. I, I don't know what to say. Uh, it's J.J. Abrams. I don't know what to say. He created a good movie in Force Awakens and then might everyone hate Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Including me. I like Force Awakens. I didn't like Last Jedi until... When I first watched Last Jedi by Ryan Johnson, I thought it was okay. Until I realized how bad it was. And when I saw Rise of Skywalker, I was like, Hey, this was made by J.J. Abrams. This was made by J.J. Abrams. He made Force Awakens, so he has to make this really good. Boy, was I wrong. It was Rise of Skywalker shouldn't be the last film. Because, boy, did the Skywalker saga start with Phantom Man, which was really good, and end with the piece of crap Rise of Skywalker. I know it has nothing to do with Cloverfield, but I have nothing to say. So I just wanted to say that I really thought going into Rise of Skywalker in 2019, it was going to be as good as Rise of, uh, as Force Awakens. But bro, did J.J. Abrams ruin it. He took one of the good good films, Rise of Skywalker, he took one of the good films, Force Awakens, and then, then Ryan Johnson took over and made one of the worst films, Rise of Skywalker. Last Jedi. So you thought since J.J. Abrams bought the right back, he would be able to make a good movie. Nope. Palpatine, for some reason, is written really horribly. When you hear his laugh in the trailer, you're like, oh, he's back, only to find out that he's a clone. Yep. Palpatine's a clone. What was the whole point of bringing him back just to reveal, hey, he, the real Palpatine died during. The the real Palpatine did get thrown over, and and then they just somehow took Palpatine's DNA and created clone, so then that clone could create Snoke. So then that clone could create Snoke. What the crap! You have us all teased up for Rise of Skywalker. You have a teeth up for Red Skywalker, and then you just ruin it. Force Awakens, even though that was a rehash of the New Ho Hope, that was at least better than this film. I know it has nothing to do with Cloverfield, but after three years of three years since seeing Red Skywalker, I just finally wanted to say, I just wanted to finally say on YouTube that that a lot of you just have other said. How could J.J. Abrams go from making one of the best Star Wars movies since one of the most, my favorite Star Wars movie is Force Awakens, and then going into Red Skywalker and it just being utter crap. My my brother Chan hate, hates it. My brother Zach hated it at first, but now he likes it. I don't know why, but my brother Chan did tell me that he'd never see Red Skywalker again, and I agree. I'd never see Rise Skywalker again. That movie was boring and so... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I rambled on about Rise Skywalker. I just really had to get something off my chest about that movie. Him talking about J.J. Abrams brought some memories of mine from Rise Skywalker that I really had to get out. So remember, if you like Coldfield and you like J.J. Abrams and he made Lost... He was good and lost. He was good at lost. But he wasn't good at the third Star Wars movie. Remember that. He can make a good lost series, but he can't make a good Star Wars movie. I'm back in the and reacts. And please, please don't watch Rise of Skywalker. It's so bad. It's just so bad. I'll see you next time.